<laughs> Look at the lens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, did you miss us? Hey, hello. <laughs> Welcome back. This is uh, the start of uh, our weekly vlog number four. Before we start, thank you ever so much for all of the lovely comments from last week's vlog. Thank you to the new subscribers. We've got three types of subscriber now. We've got those that are on a boat, lucky you. Please keep those comments and advice coming. We've definitely got subscribers that are thinking about doing what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And we've got some new subscribers who are bikers. We'll always be bikers, by the way. So thank you. You join us in Matlock Bath. Bath? Matlock Bath? Yeah. Matlock Bath. More on that later. If you've not heard of Matlock Bath, for those viewers further afield, it's a little bit of an iconic biker destination. Uh, it's the second week in June and it is horrible weather. It's, we've drove and it's been that foggy. Yeah. That we just couldn't see. Horrible. We couldn't see anything in front of us. It's yeah. that foggy and there's like a mist hanging. So if you look at me now, I'm straight. You know, by the end of this video, <laughs> if you've ever watched that episode of Friends with Monica where her hair goes really big, I'll have really big hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Humidity, the, humidity. Moving on. Um, the first segment um, that we're going to clip in now is uh, me and Mrs B down at Mercy Marina. Don't worry, we don't go round the marina again. Um, we turned left over the little bridge because we think open for correction but we think when you turn left out of the marina on a y beam that's the only way you can go anyway look we wanted to go and have a look at how locks work <gasps> so we oh. walked down to um a place called stenson marina and stenson locks have a little look and we'll pick back up with you in a minute bye bye Here we are again, happy as can be. Yes, we're back at the uh, marina. Uh, I've just been feeding the ducks. I got some uh, some crackers this time. I thought some nice wheaty crackers would be better for the diet. Uh, so the sun's coming out. We're back at the marina, like I said, and we're gonna go and have a different walk today. So uh, we can take you around a different way. We've just found out as well that uh, that they have, what do they have here, Mr. B? <laughs> we wanted to check on internet because obviously we're going to get a router for the boat, blah, blah, blah. And I've just spoke to someone and um, uh, apparently there's, there's 4G uh, within the uh, marina, which brilliant. You know, just for working from home stuff and troublesome here doing a vlog. <laughs> because now, not that I'm a brilliant um, techno, Although I'm an internet warrior, but um, I've got my own Twitter account. Well, not my own personally, but I've set up a Twitter account. I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet, but I've set it up. What I'm hopefully going to do later on today is attach some of our videos that we've been doing about the boat and stuff, because it's all going to be about the boat. And I will, I'll tell you more about it later, what I'm going to do, but I do fancy doing something um, of daily life on a boat in the marina. So I've bit the bullet and gone onto social media although I don't really know what I'm doing my brother I think a little bit patronizingly don't you mr. B said why don't you follow the people that I follow or don't you know that you have to follow people so I'm following some of the people that my brother's following and stuff I don't really know what I'm doing yet so if you do happen to check out the Twitter account and there's nothing on it that's because I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet but watch this space <laughs> try and imagine my life we don't do, we say in a podcast, we don't do social media, but Mrs. B is absolutely right when we do move on to the boat. So yeah, give her a little follow on uh, Twitter, whatever her Twitter name and stuff is. Anyway, we'll link it below. We'll do, we'll do it. Yeah, and I think I've made, I've put, I wrote two messages on it and I wrote a message to someone that I was just happened to, to be looking at and I didn't really know. So whoever's got that message, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so I shall get myself au fait with Twitter. I feel quite down with the kids. <laughs> you know, Twitter anyway, watch this space. I'll tell you more about that when I get down my with the kids. We're sat here feeding ducks. I know. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'll tell you more about that when I get my head around it, uh, and we'll speak to you later on tweet. our walk. Bye. Tweet, tweet, tweet. tweet. <laughs> and good morning. I know Mrs. B's talked about Twitter, where we are which is at the marina. And we've kind of come out of the marina, gone over the bridge and we've turned left this time. Only because <laughs> when you come out of Mercy Marina on a wide beam, I think, 
correct me if I'm wrong, you can only turn left. I may be wrong. Anyway, it's just behind wide, us, yeah. just behind us, um, we've just spent a couple of minutes speaking to a couple of folk doing magnet um, fishing. I don't know if it's, I don't know if you're allowed to do it, but um, the, the young ladies um, kind of pulled out a very old metal bowl. What a laugh. It'll yeah. come up nice, that. She can sand it and then just paint yeah, it with stuff. it will come up It'll nice. It's a really nice planter. Right, yeah, I'm determined this vlog not to be doing so much editing. Because <laughs> naughty here. Right, anyway, look, we'll pick back up with you. Let me just spin you around and show you where we are. Ah, welcome back. We've just spent a very, very nice hour canal side speaking to a couple of boaters lovely conversation and turns out because the world's a very small place one of the ladies that uh, mrs b was talking to <coughs> uh, excuse me excuse me folks yeah one of the ladies that mrs b was talking to only used to work at the sheffield star newspaper yeah same time i did she worked there you uh, go. up in the offices up above so it wasn't an invitation to vlog <laughs> Um, that was just a, that's a sign, isn't it, my love? And yeah, and straight away, me and me and her husband went, "Oh, you're Yorkshire," and we've been talking about Yorkshire. There you lad. go. You see, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Cause so we all, we all know. That all right, Yorkshire that's enough. Thank you. We have been told to go down to I think it's called Stents and Lock. Um, apologies, I will correct that if it's uh, if it's wrong. But Stents and Lock is apparently down here. Big double locks which is where we're going to go and walk and have a look at. <laughs> Mrs B, you tell you what, she's, I don't know what she is, she's mad. Oh, and behind us is Stenson Marina. We've just walked the towpath from Mercy Marina. So we've come out of the marina, turn left. How long, Mrs B? Uh, about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. Well, it took us longer because we're busy talking to to we were. Anyway, this is Stenson Marina. We're gonna have a quick look around and see if we can get a cup of coffee. Yeah. Oh, and I'm gonna video. I'm gonna video. There's a boat coming. There's a boat coming. <laughs> Don't know which one it is, but there's a boat coming. So, we arrived at Stenson Marina and Locks, about a 20 minute walk yeah. out of Mercer Marina. And as I say, we had one intention and one intention only, just to observe some boats coming through and just to see if we could work out how the locks work. <laughs> see what you think. <laughs> oh, by the way, the walk we're doing today, as I say, we're in Matlock Bath, walking into Matlock. And it's just a little, kind of riverside walk so it's that's lovely. where we are yeah it is nice. nice right have a look at this and we'll see you in a minute Ta -da. that's why we are so going to need training please comment below how does a lot work seriously respect Well, we do get the principle, but this is practice, I suppose. I haven't got a clue.
if you're coming this way now. Right, I think it's fair to say that we definitely, definitely require training. Just, yeah, we just don't know. We don't know. We just watch them too, haven't we? And it's just, it's just really good how we just know what to do. And I'm trying to get my head around it. Yeah, if there's one thing we know, <laughs> seriously, if there's one thing we know is that we are going to do the two-day Hells helmsman course um, and again drop us a comment if you could recommend anything else because um, I personally feel really silly I understand the principle of a lock but I don't understand how it works what you do when you do it how you should do it etc etc Mrs B look She will be dying to understand because she's an ex-trainer when she worked for the newspaper. Um, anyway, I've ordered cheesy chips. That's all I'm concerned about at the moment. See you later. <laughs> Look at her. Are we any wiser? Oops. I think it's like most things, when we try and do our first ever lock, mm. we'll have a big drink afterwards. I'll never come out of the boat again. I have a feeling I might fall in. Hey, we've been told right. If we fall in the canal, obviously keep your mouth shut if you can, which will be very hard for me. But if you fall in the canal, then you should drink a can of Coke afterwards. We don't know why. Comments below. I think it's to cleanse you out because you can clean a toilet with coke, aren't you, and stuff. Moving on. Moving on. Yeah, so we are going to have a little wander down the canal path a little bit further. Hello. And uh, see what is what, as they say. Right, see you in a minute. Yeah, Mrs. B's just sit it on the head. It, look, we are massively open to all of your comments and suggestions, advice, etc., etc. But we know a couple of things. It is massive fun. We know it's going to be hard work, blah, blah, blah. But it just looks good fun. <laughs> it does. And the people are right nice. Yeah, the folk we've met today down by the uh, canal side. Um, so we've come out of the marina. Um, they're just really nice folk. Everyone's got time and I'm getting to the stage where I feel as though um, I'm not asking silly questions. I'm just asking now. So, uh, yeah. And pe people tend to like to, to, to say, don't they? You always oh, yeah. Like, you always like to talk about what you're passionate about, yeah. don't you? And, and, and if you've got a boat and you've been boating a long time, I've just been talking to two great guys down in the actual lock. And the 14 and 15 years they've been doing it and they were just loving telling yeah. me different things that they've done. So when you love doing something you yeah. want to talk about it don't you do something you love doing there you go right see you in a minute i, I like to eat all and, right yeah and goodbye. goodbye right as you've just seen we spent around about 20 30 minutes down at the lock uh mrs b uh we both kind of asked mrs b more than me uh, a couple of boaters just got to know um, have a chat about a few things but generally speaking that's confirmed <laughs> we need to go we've seen an rya uh, helmsman's course which we did refer to uh, on that last, last little clip but we're going to go book a course aren't we Absolutely. we need to go on a we course we just need to book as many courses and stuff as we can <laughs> <laughs> with the locks it was great to watch you know the boats coming through the locks but we, we can understand the okay. principle uh, a, a, a nice friend i suppose that we've started talking to at the marina said imagine it like a bath yeah so you've got to you've got to get in the bath fill it up and then you, you pull the plug out and off you go, or, or vice versa, depending whether you're going up or whether you're going down. And that we get. 
but people seem to get off the boat, they seem to, to do something with a key, then they press something else, <laughs> and then they wind something, and then they push the doors open, you're thinking, well, why are you winding that? Yeah, and yeah. Why are you pressing that? So it's all that sort of thing yeah. that, we, that we're struggling with. Right, yeah, so basically, it was a great, um, it was a great half an hour, it was well worth the visit down to the Stenson Lock, but we need to book onto a course. Right, see you in a minute. Right, so we promised last week um, that we would deal with questions that are coming in as they come in. And it's also really nice to know we're getting questions coming in from folk like us who are also bikers. So keep them coming. Right, as usual, I've got them on my phone. Can I just say, I look really tiny. <laughs> Let me sit up a bit, I think I'm slouching. Just stop slouching. That's it. That's oh, by the way, maybe consider subscribing and, and hit that bell button, all that stuff. Right, question one. Uh, right, so question one. Sorry, we're looking at our phone. We've just got them on the phone. Have you decided on a sail away, fully lined or fully fitted? Well, more on that next week's vlog, and we will cover it off in terms of next steps, but we've actually booked an appointment back at Bert Mercy Marina next week to go and visit a boat kind of builder, kind of fitter. fitter. So we're not sure. We are edging closer towards um, a kind of sail away or fully lined. So thank you for that question. Uh, we'll do another question and we'll move on a little bit because it's freezing cold. Second question, Darren, has the pandemic affected you or changed <laughs> you that much? Look, I'm going to guess that's um, around the reason that I've decided, I can't speak for Mrs B, although we are as one on a lot of things. Yeah, it has. Um, the pandemic has um, changed my outlook. I want to spend as much time as I possibly can with my beautiful wife. It's as simple as that. Um, I know to some that might seem a little bit gushy and da da da, you know, you don't need to go live on a boat to do that. Well, we've decided to do that. So, yeah, the pandemic has definitely changed my view on life. We'll do one final question from this location because I say it is really cold. Uh, is Mrs. B really going to go do a weekly vlog on marina life? Um, because that would be so good to see uh, life on a marina um, because most of the vlogs seem to be out on the cut. Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Mrs. Yeah. B is going to go do a weekly vlog. In fact, today I'm doing some sort of like practice video and stuff because Mr. B is going to teach me how to use the editing suite. <laughs> do you know next week when you see him and he's really grey? <laughs> yes. Right, more questions uh, a little bit later on, folks. Thank you. Bye. Blimey, for our regular daily vlog viewers, we're back in the wood. <laughs> right, let's just do a few more questions. So, we have got... Do, 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 why doesn't Mrs B start a weekly vlog? Well, we've just answered that. Watch, I am. Watch this space. Um, we've got one here. How does internet work on board the boat? It's... To be perfect, I'm, sure I'm not 100% au okay fait with it, but basically, because we're going to be residentially mooring if that's the right phrase at Mercia Marina um, I've already inquired um, there is internet or the marina is set up at 4G what we require obviously is a router with a sim card so basically getting internet on board your boat is, is not a problem but more on that no doubt in in the future once we've actually got the boat uh, let's have a little look do 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 uh, will Mrs. B, <laughs> will Mrs. B please wear some sexy boating attire? <laughs> what is the matter with you lot? Of course I will. Of course I will. <laughs> what we intend to do is, what we intend to do is, um, when we when we finally get the boat and get sourced and stuff, we'll go and do some shopping. And we, I have to be warm because if, if you looked at some of the vlogs that we've done, especially the bag ones, I'm not warm. Moving what, what on. What do always say? Happy wife, happy life. Moving on. But yes, I will. I'll get some. Uh, <laughs> So oh nice. dear me, sorry, I'm looking down because I've got the questions on my phone. Right, uh, ba, 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 ba. if you get a new boat, what will you call it? Watch the space. Not That's not what we're going to call it, but what, <laughs> watch the space. Final question for now is, oh, from this location, da, da, da. do you worry about the family and friends? Uh, sorry, do you worry about what the family and your friends are thinking about a boat instead of a house? No, um, for a number of reasons. One, we live our life. And two, the family are completely supportive. Um, yeah, Mrs B's mum initially was a little bit... My, my mum would love all her family to, <laughs> to live, live on the same shore. street. 
No. And, and, I've, and, I've, and she's come round to the idea now and she's excited because yeah. we're only about 40, 48 miles away. Yeah, it's 50 so miles from from where Mrs I, B's mum lives. I'm going to I'm gonna how? I'm going to dedicate one day a week and just, just drive and spend the day with my mum. Yeah. Um, and I'll chat to her and stuff. Yeah. So it's absolutely fine. And I've got a brother and sister who live a, a few miles away from my mum. So yeah. We're all good. We're all, We're all fine. good. Well, the family's fine. Mm. Um, so, but, but you know, again, same with friends. Look, bottom line, it's our life, uh, and as long as we're as one, it's our life. But we are lucky because the family do, 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 are, do, do, do. the family are absolutely supportive of it. Right, we'll pick up some uh, other questions in a minute when we get to a different location. And Go I'm taller than Mr. B. Goodbye. I'm My stood, arms I'm hurting. I'm stood, I'm Hurry stood up. On a rock. <laughs> oh, we interrupt this vlog. Mrs. Bonneville, she's like a goat. And I mean this seriously. One of the things I'm going to love about living on a boat is the towpaths are flat. We're now going up. Off she goes, look. Goaty McGoaty. What's your foot in? So, we took a path that we've never seen before. And we're walking up. This is what I'm looking at now. Look at this. Hold on. Mr. Bonneville. He's not happy. He's not happy at all. This is not a walk. So, so we're right next to a cliff face. We're right eye up. My hair's starting to go quite big now. Um, and we'll just see where it takes us. It's right exciting. It's like an adventure. Catch you later, hopefully. Now, listen, if you haven't heard from us, send a search party. Give us a few hours. Hopefully, we'll uh, find our way back to the car. <laughs> see you later. We're not going in that cave at all. Let me turn it around and show you again. <gasps> Right, we pick back up after the most. <sighs> there's a walk and there's a walk. <laughs> All right, good fun. But I'm a bit, I'm a bit big and wet now. Look, ridiculous. Right, final questions. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Will, our... Will Mrs. B, please be my shipmate? Yeah, as long as you don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> Entertaining goats in terms of how they like to walk. No, you can't have Mrs. B as your shipmate. She's my shipmate. Uh, right, 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 right. Does Mrs. B know she will have boaters running around following her because she's very sexy? Oh, Thank I you. Look, I don't look very sexy now, do I? No, that's because we've just been up a goat track. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, will Mr. B be able to work on board? How will that work? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the boat that we are looking to get is 60 foot long by 12, 12 and a half foot wide. If we're lucky, we may get two berths. If we do get a two berth boat, um, that will be my office, the second berth or bedroom. If not, um, there's still plenty big enough. So I really haven't got a problem with that. Have you, Mrs B? No. no? And, and, I'll, and I'll be working from the boat because I shall be doing all my editing for my uh, weekly blog. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Mrs Bonneville's not very good at taking instructions, so on Sunday, if you see a big mushroom cloud from Yorkshire... <laughs> um, are you still excited? <gasps> yeah? We wouldn't be doing it. I was talking to um, the, the boat fitter man from Mercia rang me this morning just before we came out for the walk and uh, I've never spoken to him before and he said he was explaining some of the things and what time he's seen and stuff and I said oh, and we're really excited and he just laughed and he yeah. went good we, we are. are yeah if, it's if, exciting whether it be a boat or, or anything we, we are moving home so absolutely yes we're excited a final question uh, well it's more of a state I'll read it out if you two are like this in real life then you will fit it in on any marina or the cup as continuous cruisers, thank you. thank you. Why do you feel you have this outlook on life? It's infectious. Thank you very much. Um, we've said it many, many times. In fact, we had a comment uh, the day of filming this from a gentleman who and his wife are retiring, selling their house in 2022. Um, and 
their comment was pretty much, you know, thanks for keeping it real and thanks for not being too professional with our production. <laughs> this is us. This is Do exactly. We look professional? <laughs> <laughs> Do, <laughs> this is us. Um, we've said it a thousand times, whether it be on these type of vlogs, on our podcast. Um, we wake up and this is who we are. We press record. So thank you for that comment. Yeah, it was a lovely, lovely, lovely thing to say. Yeah, it is. Um, right, we are going to carry on with our little walk and we are not going up a goat track ever again. And uh, we're going to keep it flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look at big air, Mrs. Bonneville. Mm. <laughs> look, look at, at that. Look at my fringe. Look at that. Goodbye. Oh, and by the way, she's cutting my uh, Mrs. Bonneville at the weekend. It's not going to look like this for long. Yeah, so what we're coming into now is, uh, for those that have never heard of it, in the summer and in normal times, this place is uh, very, very popular for biking, called Matlock Bath. Check um, out one of our vlogs. Lord yeah, check out one of our vlogs. Yeah, but uh, you cannot move for bikes here um, in the summer and in normal times. But uh, yeah, this is Matlock. I'll just flip you around. It's just a drive. It's just one road. Full of fish and chip shops, full of amusements and full of little cafes, but it's a biker, biker heaven um, and has been for years. So Matlock, Matlock Bath. Right, I'm going to get some chips. I've been quite lucky. Two lots of chips on one vlog. Wow. We end this vlog abruptly. It is absolutely tipping down. Let me just show you. Hold on. We're in the car. This is not a good way. Sorry, that's the fan going on. This is not a good way to end a vlog. It's absolutely teeming down with rain. Uh, next steps, we've made an appointment for the estate agent to come out in a week or so. Yeah. We're going to the marina next week to view a sail away 60 foot by 12 and a half foot boat. Um, I'll clip an image in here. We're actually going to be, uh, meet a boat builder at the actual marina to start to understand what the likely costs may be for the fit out. <laughs> what a great way to end a vlog. Thank you ever so much. We will see you next week. Don't forget to like and hit that uh, bell button for the notification. Subscribe. And uh, yeah, subscribe. And don't forget to follow Mrs B on Twitter. Twitter me. <laughs> or follow me or yeah. whatever it is that you do on Twitter. Right. Goodbye. Bye. See you next week. Bye. hat on to, to just cover my shameful big hair. Do you? Oh, do you? I don't know where it's gone. It's attractive, isn't it? Look. <laughs> do you know what? When I met this woman, she was very sexy, very desirable. <laughs> now she's turned into a, a crab fisher. A crab, a crab. A crab fisher. A crab fisher woman. She looks like she's going to go and get a crab catch weighed and paid in. <laughs> bikes and boats, bikes and boats. In my dog walking boots. Dog walking boots. <laughs> crab they fishing. They crab fishing. Lots of things on them. <laughs> Look how green that field is. Isn't that a beautiful field? Just me. Am I being all sort of gooey and cheesy? But look at look at it. It's like something from a Picasso. All right, I'm bored now. I like crackers. Mrs. Bonneville's got all me crackers. She's dying to get on here. Look. So I'm quite partial to a bit. Well, some crackers, cheese, tomato, cucumber, and onion. And I can't have any because Mrs. Bonneville told me earlier those are me crackers. So I've bit the bullet and gone onto social media. Although I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs>